Have you been recently looking into starting a CNA program and reading something about a program coordinator? Are you wondering like, what exactly is a program coordinator? Like, what do they do? And why are they such a big deal? Well, you have found the answer right here. Welcome to The Secret Cocktail. My name is Victoria Randall, and I am a healthcare school consultant. We help people just like you start healthcare training programs all around the nation. Did you know that it is a federal law that every CNA program in the entire nation has to have a program coordinator? That's right, the federal government got to decide the requirements for a program coordinator and what their duties are. Here, I will outline them for you. The federal government said that every program coordinator must be an RN, they must have at least two years of experience in the field, and one of those years must be in long-term care. Now, what do I mean by long-term care? Long-term care is simply a nursing home. So please note that experience as an LPN or a CNA in long-term care setting does not qualify a person to be a program coordinator. The experience in long-term care must have occurred while the person was an RN. So please note that your state may add additional requirements to these, but these are the federal minimum requirements. In many states, the program coordinator may be required to take a course called Train the CNA Trainer. This course helps educate the program coordinator on the concepts of adult learning, the state requirements for a CNA program, and their duties as the program coordinator. Did you know that we actually offer Train the CNA Trainer? That's right. Take a look down in the description box below and get the link to get more information about our course or visit our website, which is cnatrainer.com. Now, let's talk about the duties of the program coordinator. It is the program coordinator's duty to ensure that the program is abiding by all state and federal regulations that pertain to nurse aid training. So that means if you're in a state where nurse aid training has to be 120 hours, it's the program coordinator's responsibility to ensure that every student who went through your program did indeed receive all 120 hours of education. Not 119, not 119 and a half, but exactly 120 hours. The program coordinator is required to ensure that every student who enrolled in the program did also meet all the enrollment requirements. Now, enrollment requirements are typically decided upon the school. However, there are a few federally regulated requirements. These include TB testing, proof of being a U.S. citizen, and legal immigrant status, and possibly a background check depending on your state. The program coordinator serves as the liaison between the program and the nursing home to ensure that they partner. This means if there are any issues at the nursing home or if the nursing home loses its ability to host a CNA program, it is the program coordinator's responsibility to ensure a new clinical site is obtained. The program coordinator is also responsible for creating the curriculum and the implementation of the curriculum. If instructors are teaching content that is not actually in the curriculum or out of order, the program coordinator can actually be responsible for that or at least held responsible for that. The program coordinator is also responsible for creating and reviewing and updating your program policies to ensure that they meet all of the needs of the program. And most of all, the program coordinator is responsible for assessing outcomes of the nurse aid training program. For instance, if the nurse aid training program has 100 students per year and only 50 of those students graduate and take the state exam, and then of those 50 students, only 25 actually pass, the state is gonna have some questions. The program coordinator is responsible for ensuring the program is indeed educating and preparing students for the certification in a reasonable number. If the program fails to educate and graduate students at a reasonable number, then the program coordinator is responsible for developing a plan to fix that problem. For instance, maybe students are failing the blood pressure portion of the state exam. Well, then it's up to the program coordinator to take a look at the curriculum, determine what changes need to be made to help students be successful. Most states require that program coordinators are available to also fill in as nurse aid instructors with needed, although this is not always required. So ultimately, if you're going to be a program coordinator, it is important that you know your state's rules and regulations to ensure that the program abides by all of them. If the program does not abide by the rules and regulations set forth by the state, 
they will look to you to correct those issues as you are the head nurse over the program. Please note that the program coordinator does not have to be the owner of the program. Just about anyone can own a nurse aid training program if they please. You just have to hire the right people to teach and the right people to run it. So I hope this video answered all your questions. And if you are considering the role of the program coordinator, please reach out to us. We're happy to help get you train the trainer certified. Please take a moment, subscribe to our channel, look around and take a look for all the other helpful videos and content that we have here. I'm Victoria Randall, once again, the owner of The Secret Cocktail. Now go out there and change the world one CNA at a time. <laughs>